hello beautiful people welcome back to another video so it's been a little bit it's been a little minute not too long about two weeks or so um i had a lot going on i went to vegas and vegas is a whole story time so i'm gonna save that and then i came back from vegas and got really really sick so i've been down for the past week or so and i am just now as of yesterday able to be upright for long periods of time without getting like super tired or um exhausted or whatever the case may be so <clears throat> i am going to be showing you guys just a quick little dinner recipe that you guys can make um i don't necessarily think it's super health i mean it, i don't know i can't i'm not gonna say it's a healthy meal I don't think it's unhealthy, but um, I know I'm doing a lot of weight loss journeys and things like that on this channel. So I don't want you to think, oh, like she's making a healthy meal if it's not considered that. Do you guys know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to be making this lighting is horrible. Sorry, I have my lights off. Um, my lights down. Um, I'm going to be making a dupe for the P.F. Chang lettuce wraps. I've done this before and it is really, really good. Um, I have... A little somebody coming over for dinner so I don't really stop um I have somebody coming over for dinner and so he'll be here later tonight and so I'm gonna go ahead and get like the chicken and stuff marinating um and that way when he comes closer for dinner I can just throw it on the stove but I'm gonna just show you guys the ingredients that I'm using and then I'll show you guys how we put it together so let's go Okay, so what you'll need is um, some chicken. I like to use thighs because I just think they have more flavor. So I got the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I got some butter lettuce. I got brown sugar. You'll need ketchup, soy sauce, sesame seed oil, um, rice vinegar, and some ground mustard, ginger, uh, water chestnuts, <clears throat> some chicken broth, mushrooms i am not a mushroom fan but i honestly can't taste the mushrooms in this meal so i mean if you you don't have to add it if you really don't like mushrooms but i have it i have a yellow onion some green onion some cilantro and then i like to add wonton chips on the top of my lettuce wraps um pf chang's i don't think does that but the lettuce just isn't enough crunch for me you know what i mean so i added these on the last time i made it and the kid's dad said it was like really really good so i have that as well and that's pretty much what we'll need for our lettuce wraps <clears throat> now i'm not going to do this on camera because i feel like it takes me forever but clean your chicken okay please y'all um so when i clean my chicken i do <laughs> um, when i clean my chicken i do water vinegar lime that's what i do so i'm gonna go ahead and prep this chicken and then i'll be back when we start cooking i know i have y'all at a weird angle but um the first thing that we have to do is prep all this stuff right so um let me see it's a lot of cutting involved <laughs> To start this little meal so our onion our mushrooms our water chestnuts and we have to cut up our chicken so let me get a bowl hold on because once i cut up my chicken <clears throat> i can just throw it in there and it'll fit so um it's a lot of prep work in the beginning because we obviously have to cut everything so I'm gonna start with cutting up this onion and I am not Gordon Ramsay, okay? So if I cut this thing weird, you just let me have it, okay? <laughs> look at it. Look at it, mama, man. look at it. That ain't it. That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her Ay. Catch me in the whip, ride with her Ay. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her Pray you get that job in Tampa That's only four hours away Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster oh, Whichever one is in a household Oh, damn, yeah, man oh, Never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too Yeah, you into everything I'm into Ho, I got something that I can lend you Ho, 
A piece of mind, baby. Come and get a piece of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed and the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencil suit. Here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always oh, just another interlude. Asking all them questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school Wife and now you fuck with clothes, cooking dinner too Young chiller, girl, I'm known as Pim Griffey too It's only right that I swing by and hit it too First base, second base, third base I'm trying to get you in your birthday too, oh I know these not a nigga Thursday, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me, you feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me, oh, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. So much to live for, too, baby. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we If you know exactly what I wanna do, then I'ma get a business too. You yeah. could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that. You could bet that never got a sweat that.
some wet seasonings to the mix that we have just cut up. Um, and about a teaspoon of brown sugar. And <clears throat> we're gonna do two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're gonna do a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now I'm not gonna, at the end I'm gonna taste this to see like for salt level, but guys, like the soy sauce is gonna do enough salt for you I'm pretty sure um but we'll adjust salt to taste at the end and then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of ginger <clears throat> okay and that's what's gonna be in our mix okay so now that that's in I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna Stir all of this up. Now we haven't put the chicken in yet, guys, but I just want to get these ingredients incorporated. So. <clears throat> Alright, so that's what our mix should look like right now. Right, you guys so this is the chicken in the mixture of everything that we like chopped up and all our wet ingredients well not all our wet ingredients the start to our wet ingredients so all of that is in there all right so now I'm going to cover this bowl up I ran out of plastic wrap but I'm gonna cover this bowl up and let the chicken marinade in the fridge for a couple hours and yeah while this chicken is marinating i'm gonna go clean up the house and then when we get closer to putting this all together i will come back all right y'all i'm back i broke my little tripod so this filming is gonna be a little funky and i'm sorry about it but we're about to make like the glaze that we'll use while we cook so hold on let me get um, in this bowl, I am going to do, oh, actually, let me get my measuring cup. All right, so I'm going to do a one-fourth uh, cup of, let's see, one-fourth cup whoop, of chicken stock. So I'm going to put that in here. And... We're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do half of a teaspoon of ground mustard or mustard powder. So, ooh. ooh, it's a little too much. All right, all right. So throw that in there. All right. And I just used ground mustard. So. All right, and then some chicken stock. So we've done those. All right, and then we're gonna do two teaspoons of sesame oil. Now this stuff is pungent, all right? You get this on your hands, you don't smell like sesame oil. It stinks, I don't like it, but it's okay. Um, so we're gonna do a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then we're going to do one and a fourth of the rice wine vinegar. Then. 
right? So this was the sesame oil I used, and this is the rice pine vinegar that I used. <clears throat> and I also forgot, you guys, you need garlic. I didn't show that in the original, like, ingredient list. My bad. Um, <laughs> we're going to get some brown sugar. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. Then we're gonna do a tablespoon of ketchup. So. Then we're gonna do a tablespoon of soy sauce. This is why I say, you guys, you don't need to really add salt at this point because there's a lot of soy sauce going in here. So, yeah. And then it calls for like four cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna eyeball this, y'all. Because I, I don't know, this is already in the jar. So I do like garlic, so I'm just gonna put a good amount in there. <clears throat> and then we're going to stir this up. Now, one thing that I did last time that I didn't do this time was hoisin sauce. And um, because it made it a little thicker, but it's okay. I think it's gonna be good either way. Ooh, I'm not misspelling it everywhere. Okay, so this is the glaze that we'll use during cooking and at the end of cooking. I have my pan on high right now and I'm getting ready to pull out our chicken mixture, which kind of looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken mixture into the pot and I have some oil at the bottom some vegetable oil so. mm, it smells so good y'all What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this meat and it's we're gonna cook it to the point that it doesn't look so raw. And then once we get it to that point, then we'll go ahead and we will add half of the braising liquid or the glaze, I should say, um, into the pot. So we'll just wait for that. And then once this meat is at the point where, I, like I said, it doesn't look so raw, um, I'll come back on and I'll show you guys. We'll put the glaze on, half of the glaze, and then we'll let it continue to cook. All right, y'all. So here we're at the point where the chicken looks not so raw. All right, so we're going to stir this around a little bit. I'm going to turn it down just slightly. And then we're going to take half of this braising liquid. Okay. That was a little bit more than half, but that's okay. But we're going to take that and we're going to stir it in. Now, this is going to be the part that takes a little long. So, <clears throat> we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to let this kind of do its thing, but we want it to, all this liquid, we want all of that to cook off. So it's gonna almost start caramelizing. So 
that's going to be the long part. It's probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes for it to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let this kind of do its thing. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like once all of the liquid's gone. Alright you guys, so this is just a little check-in, but I wanted to just show you guys how much of that liquid has cooked off. So we're pretty much where we want to be. It's been about 15 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to continue to let this cook and caramelize, but <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys. Sorry I keep clearing my throat. I am still blocked up, y'all, but I just wanted to show y'all this is what you're looking for. Just all of that liquid cooking off. This is pretty good. We got some of that chicken caramelized. And so now, I'm gonna add in the rest of our liquid. And this is just to rehydrate, help it not be so dry. Give it like that good sticky consistency. Um, we'll let that cook for just a few more minutes. And I turned that down to medium, like low, and <clears throat> I did not keep a top on it. I let it do its thing without a top. So. All right, so while that's finishing up, we're gonna take some cilantro. Just add some fresh herbs to this mix. rinse that and we'll just chop up some cilantro so that we can just add it in. Mm. Look at that, y'all. Mm. So this would be where I would taste it just to check your salt. <clears throat> see if you need to add anything. Um, so let's see. I'm just going to take a little bit of chicken. Mm. It is like riding the line of perfect, but hold on. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. You can add salt, you cannot take it away. So if you're kind of playing with the salt level, I would just add a little bit, taste it, and then add again. That's perfect. Okay. See? Mm, okay. So then we're going to take some of the cilantro. I'm going to go ahead, ooh, so I'm stuck in my finger, get that stirred in, let that cook a little bit, watching that cook, I'm just cutting up a little bit more green onion, throw that in there, and I just like the freshness that the herbs add at the end. that y'all ooh, is how it looks all right y'all so I'm gonna do this kind of quick and do a taste test with you because oh I look a mess because he was on his way and yeah all right so you're just gonna take a piece of lettuce like so we'll take a little bit of our mixture So it looks like that. Then I'm gonna take some of my little one pounds. <laughs> and I kind of put it in the boat 
like that. And let me show you. And that is my little basic lettuce wrap. Simple, easy, and very yummy. So I'm gonna try this on camera with you guys since I won't be able to do it when he's here. But let's try it. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. I must try it, guys. It's so good. So I hope that you try this recipe. If you do, let me know. And I love you guys. Gotta go. But I'll see you in another video.